we're only first year students, are there any opportunities, um, especially to um, Dan with TPL, are there any opportunities for uh, students who are not yet done the program? Uh, did you people in the back hear the question okay? All right. Um, there isn't a, a, a classification within the Toronto Public Library for people who are enrolled or have completed a portion of, of a, a master's degree um, but not completed the full degree. However, there are, um, I mean, it's a big place. Uh, there are 2,500 employees, so there's, there's movement all, at all times. And um, it is uh, worthwhile working in the system, um, even at the entry level positions, um, to gain knowledge of it. And um, I may get a question on this in terms of the um, uh, hiring process and the fact that all the jobs are posted internally first. It's a, uh, union uh, unionized workplace and that occurs um, I wouldn't I would encourage people even with a master's degree at, at to consider temporary and part-time work in a in the system because it is very large there are opportunities for extra hours so you're not you might be hired for a fixed number of 17 and a half hours a week but the extra hours are available and um, there are about 440 librarians in the system. So there's just constant movement. And um, I know I get a lot of calls about sort of the closed shop nature of Toronto Public Library. And I would encourage people to consider temporary and part-time work as well. What about volunteers? Is that a good idea for them? Uh, no. The volunteer opportunities are not in um, professional work. I, I'm, I'm going to echo some of that. I, I think that academic libraries do a much better job of internships and placements because it's part of the academic culture uh, and they're used to hiring students and so it works in a much better way. Uh, public libraries, there is a heightened awareness of the fact that you know if we want the best and the brightest and we want them to understand better what's involved in public libraries that we have to do much more of that. It's come up on a number of times at the CULP meetings, which is the uh, Canadian um, Urban Library Directors or, uh, meetings, uh, which is all library systems serving over 75,000 urban populations in Canada. So it has come up at those meetings on a number of occasions. I can't say it's going to be any good uh, between your course of term. Because one of the, I think, the issues that sort of put a slowdown on that was even the economic conditions where you have to make sure you've got money to pay for some of your own staff that are there before you're able to sort of explore the concept of internships. We're looking at it. We're continuing to look at it. We're continuing to look at ways of funding that make it, uh, that make it work within the organization. And I know other libraries are too, but it's not going to happen right away. Thank you. For those of you who um, are interested in, in um, archival um, possibilities, uh, the Young Canada Works grants are due next week, and they are usually um, the list of successful uh, institutions are is usually listed on the Archives Association of Ontario website, and. Uh, uh, usually it's in May or June, and it's a really nice opportunity for people to get their foot in the door and get some really hands-on experience. And uh, it certainly allows you um, possibilities of working in various types of archives, not just the public sector, but university, bank, religious archives. So if you're so inclined, you might kind of um, <coughs> stay on top of the website and see which of the institutions were granted uh, the, the grants and go after them. <laughs> um, one, of, one of the things you might do as a first year student, um, it was mentioned before, but know the, the type of organization that you want to work in and look for opportunities to interact with people who work with them. Even if it's not in a job, that's why I mentioned volunteer. So volunteer, it won't work. 
or look at other uh, types of organizations. So let's say you, your, your dream job is a library or an archive, but if you get a, a museum has a project and they're looking for, and it's, it's a fixed budget and a fixed timeline and it's a, an exhibit they're developing or some outreach program, you, you find a project and you get a job as a, a part-timer on that one project in an institution that has sim requires similar skills that your dream job institution might want. That will give you experience and then when you come to the interview later, a year or two later, you have that experience. And one of the ways to find these opportunities, there's a couple of ways, but one of the ways is to look at their websites and find out what they're doing and go and visit them and ask to talk to the HR manager or someone like that. Uh, but the other thing is through, and I, one of you mentioned associations, if you, if you join associations and you go to their meetings, uh, you, you could be rub, rubbing shoulders with an HR manager, a CEO, or, a, or an archivist, or a librarian. Uh, they're all going to the same meetings, some of them are speaking at them, if they're social events, they're having drinks together, whatever, and you're one of them. And just when, when you're looking for a work, most people, in some way, psychologically, think they're a supplicant. They're asking for something, and they, and they feel a little lower than the person they're be, that's interviewing or they want the job from. You have to realize that you're a resource that people want. So they're competing with other organizations for you. So you have to, you have to remind yourself of that so that you don't go in sort of with your hand out and you go with your, you know, you're, you're confident, you're, you're humble, you, you occupy the appropriate space, but they need you just as much. So when I'm at association meetings and stuff, we're always interested in the young people. What are you doing? What are you studying? What are your ambitions? What do you want to be when you grow up? Because we're looking for the next CEO of the library or something, maybe 20 years from now, but we're looking for the young blood. You're the young blood, so the older folks were interested in you. So you should remind yourself of that and do your homework and meet people as much as you can, learn about the institutions, try a little project work, and build up your portfolio of experience.